this video we're going to create an email message and then we're going to send that email message to an account so we begin by looking at our iPad coming down to the icon that has mail on it which once again stands for email so we get to that icon and we're going to tap it once the email program opens up in the various messages they're all on the left hand side messages that we've received At the end of our last video we were looking at the CVS ad that we had just received and we took a look at it so during this video we're gonna create an email and then send it and you begin that by coming over to the right hand side in the upper right hand corner there's a picture that looks like a pencil hover over it and tap it once the screen comes up and what we have is really three main lines of data top line who that email is addressed to the line for subject right over here what the email pertains to and then beneath the subject beneath this line right here will be the body of the email the information that we're going to type out so let's start off by addressing the email so as you can see our cursor is blinking in the spot next to two there's a few different ways of of activating that I mean who we're going to address it to we can come up to the plus sign and tap that plus sign once and all of our contacts end up showing up so we can scroll up and down and find the person who we're looking for that's one way of looking at it Another way is that while the cursor is blinking next to two, we can go to our typewriter and begin to type out either the last name or the first name of the contact that we're sending that email to. So for instance, we're going to send it out to McKenna. So I'm, I'm just going to type in the first couple of letters, M C K. And as you can see, what ends up happening is it is a listing of all the McKenna's. Now once again, you can scroll up and down. The one that I'm looking for is actually Test McKenna. Now what I've done is I've gone in beforehand and I've updated my contact list to include somebody by the name, first name Test second name McKenna so we have test McKenna and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that name once after tapping it you see where it's coming through we're all set there so we're gonna right now we're ready to send an email to somebody by the name of Tess McKenna. Next I'm going to come down to the subject line right over here and I'm going to tap once inside of the subject line. You now see that our cursor is now showing. It's blinking on and off. And I'm going to type in that the subject is it's a test so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in test next and this is very important we want to tap somewhere beneath this line beneath the subject line so I'm going to tap once so that my cursor is now showing right directly beneath that line 
and I'm just going to type in using my keyboard that this is a test. So what we've done is we've addressed the email to somebody by the name of Tess McKenna. The subject is test, and the body of the email is this is a test. So now we're ready to send it. Come up here where it says send, and tap that button once. You're going to hear a sound basically showing that, that email has been sent. It may take about a minute. And we're going to see right here, let's see if we can actually less than a minute, that our email has been received. Come up here to the top. You can see that um, email has not only been sent, but it's been received. It was sent to Tess McKenna. This is what time it was sent from our account, the body of the message. So it's that easy. If I wanted to reply to that sender, send a reply, what I would do is I would come back to this arrow right here, the arrow that's pointing over to the left, and tap that once. I'll get a menu saying that I can either reply or forward, which means send that message to somebody else. But if I wanted to reply, I would tap reply once. Okay. I'm going to be replying back to Kevin McKenna. My cursor is blinking here. And I'm going to type in, thanks. It's my reply. So I typed in my reply. All it is is just thanks. And then I'm going to come back here and click on send. So I'm replying to the message. I'm sending my reply. So I'm going to tap send. And my reply has been sent. This arrow over here is denoting that there has been a reply sent. Thank you.